everybody, my name is Jason Landeros and today I'm going to show you how to use FTP and FXP. Uh, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and what it is used for is to transfer files from a local connection, a local computer to a remote location uh, via FTP. Um, FXP on the other hand enables you to transfer files from uh, from one FTP server to another um, without having to download them and re-upload them separately. So for this demonstration I'm going to be using Flash FXP as it allows me to use the FXP function. If all you're going to be doing is uh, FTP just from one location to another um, without having to use any any mediums, uh, any other FTP programs such as FileZilla or WSFTP or LeechFTP will do. So I'm going to make sure I open up FlashFXP. When I open this, I have uh, my files on my computer on the left side and I have a blank pane on the right side. Uh, what I want to do with this is I want to make sure I connect to the server I'm trying to connect to. So to do this, I'm going to click this icon right here and I'm going to hit Quick Connect. I've already got my Cal Poly credentials loaded in, but for this demonstration I'll show you how to do it. Now that I've got this window open up, I need to make sure that I match everything accordingly. To connect to the Cal Poly server, they only allow us to use a secure FTP, so I need to make sure I set this up accordingly. So I'm going to go here to connection type, uh, hit SFTP over SSH. This changes the port number to port 22. By default, it's port 21. We're going to need to put it in the host name, which is login.csupomona.edu, our Bronco name and our password. This goes and connects. Um, this is going to bring up a whatever is already on the server. Um, this actually connects to an, uh, an HTTP server, uh, which is not always the case. Um, I'm going to log in and get to the www directory. I've already got a folder here titled video, as that's what I'm going to be uploading. Uh, if you wanted to create one, which you could do here, is right click and create make folder, title it, or just press the insert key. So I'm going to go ahead and gather my video from the right side, uh, the left side. Got video one and video two. So I can navigate to this folder over here. Um, highlight, drag and drop. On some instances, this might ask you to highlight each one individually and click transfer. Um, sometimes not. Depends on the program you're using. This is actually going relatively quickly. While I wait for that to transfer. So now that I've actually FTP'd, I have my files online. Um, now they're on a remote location. What FXP allows me to do is go server to server. So if I wanted to upload these to another server and I didn't already have them on my home, my personal computer, what I could do is I can use the function of FXP. This kind of allows me to skip a step. Rather than download and re-upload, I can just go straight server to server.
to the public HTML folder. And I want to, I already have a folder here entitled FXP. This is what I've used for my demonstration. 